करिए छे तो रिफ्रेशर कोर्स ऑर्गेनाइज करवानो घणा लोगो ना माइंड में आयो छे के भाई लाइसेंस रिन्यूअल करवा माटे बट द एक्चुअल पर्पस टू अटेंड दिस रिफ्रेशर कोर्स इज नॉट ओनली द रिन्यूअल ऑफ लाइसेंस बट द a uh, purpose of gspc is to update the knowledge regarding the pharmacy field to our register pharmacies to ena mate a be divas no apne refresher course no aayojan karta hoye chhe to uh, i am very much thankful to all participants ke uh, 496 participants a uh, refresher course ma registered thayelu chhe we have seven different expert अवेलेबल फॉर दीस टू डेज के जे लोग अपने बे दिवस जी फार्मसी फील्ड में डेवलपमेंट है रिसेंट डेवलपमेंट के अपडेट है अपने एमनी एक्सपर्टाइज थी अपने हाईलाइट आपसे सो वंस अगेन आई हार्डली थैंकफुल टू ऑल पार्टिसिपेंट्स एंड वेलकम्स यू वंस अगेन टू ऑल डेलीगेट्स एंड अवर चीफ गेस्ट थैंक यू मैडम थैंक यू सर thank you so much sir uh, now uh, we are coming toward the main part that is uh, we wants to hear from our chief guest dr kanji chuhan sir uh, so we are having a immense personality with us as our chief guest dr sanjay chuhan sir i am pleased to get the opportunity to introduce such a great personality in this two days uh, refresher course so dr sanjay chohan sir uh, served as a director at the graduate school of pharmacy gujarat technical university ahmedabad gandhinagar in gujarat sir is a founder of startup company spero health limited and the company is recognized as a startup from the dppitt government of india he is also served as a mentor and engaged on the innovation and entrepreneurship activities and the policy framework in various institution and statutory bodies Uh, sir has more than 17 years for academic and research experience in his credit there are two patent were granted uh, sir has approved four registered trademark and published uh, two books with a 35 research paper in a various reputed journal sir has also developed a innovative product with a brand name that is the himpoint uh, for the indication of the enthropoiesis and his research is also recognized as an innovative by the department of industrial policy and promotion by the government of india sir has completed many sponsored research project in our and received a research grant under the gujj coast ssip and many more sir is also awarded with the 7500 us dollar for the theoretical solution for the project title the new disease indication for the m33 antagonist he served as an organizing committee member for the conducting various state and national seminar he is serving also as a peer review in many reputed journal um, sir is also a vice president in the association of pharmaceutical teachers that is apti uh, with this brief introduction i welcome you sir in this uh, two days refresher course organized by the sharda school of pharmacy and sir we are eager to hear some uh, words from you so uh, sir please dr sanjay sir okay thank you ma'am i hope i'm in a audible yes sir you are audible okay thank you so first of all i thankful to the organizers sharda school of pharmacy principal dr divyakant bhai patel course coordinator bhumi ben patel course co coordinator uh, khushbu ben wagela and gujarat state pharmacy council who has taken this initiations for the refresher course so as earlier uh, suggested by the principal sir ka uh, why there is a refresher course so it is not only for the renewal of our license but also updating our knowledge so i am here just uh, taking the two points one is why the knowledge is important right so many times we have the discussion with uh, one of the very good pharmacist right and we can say ki why this pharmacist are not get that much of honor and the privilege into the society compared with the others and mostly it is comparing with the health practitioners in that conditions i just want to put uh, some points are we updated based on the knowledge yes or no 
right now suppose i can say what is the recent development in the area of pharmaceuticals can you suggest no next recently cdco has how many new drugs give the approval we are not aware new kind of the formulations are getting the approved in india as well as in abroad we are not that much of involved because what happened our field is very diverse diverse in terms we are also in the retail businesses we are also in the distribution businesses we are also in the manufacturing businesses we are also in the academic we are also in the r and d as well as we are also in the government regulations and as a pharmacist so our role is very diverse but somewhere we are also connected based on the as a being the pharmacist so now it is wherever the in a profession are there whether we are in a industry whether we are in a academic or whether we are in a government pharmacist or retail supply chain management we should be updated based on the knowledge right it is not necessary i am in the academic so i can only focus on my academic that is my core focus right but apart from my core focus i also look up of the what is happening in the retail uh, pharmacist uh, sectors what is happening in the distribution sectors right so now there is a need of the knowledge updation why if you can see this is called the century of the knowledge previous it is called the century of the muscles powers that means those having the muscles power they are the leading the world and at that time we have seen the various world wars right after that there is a money powers right that means those countries or the those peoples having the money right they can rule and power the whole uh, dominions but now it is the era of knowledge right those having the knowledge it can rule uh, sectors so how much maximum knowledge you can gain based on that you can give the information to your subordinate or your societies right <clears throat> mostly uh, i have observed that the people are saying the pharmacists are not getting well honored and well reputation into the society like i say it is a getting the very good honored if you can give a right kind of the knowledge say for example mostly they are judging the pharmacist as a retail pharmacist no we are the developer of the medicines right initially i also talk with the some other platform also ke bhai pharmacist give the life to the medicine and doctor give the life to the patients so we are the creator of medicines and we know how the medicine is act and efficacy acting in the patient's lives right so that is the role we have to give to the societies we are not only pharmacist but we are the creator of medicines now whatever the ailment or the disease you are suffering we know how it can be recovered and which right medicine is used for that purpose so that kind of knowledge is required nowadays and for this this two type two days refresher course is required right so you can just take a break for two days from your routine activities and you can come up for this getting the various kind of the knowledge right so just uh, when i can get a uh, call from the principal sir you have to be a present over here is a guest so i don't know what i have to uh, speak but uh, at that time i have identify what is the word pharmacist stands for right it is a, we can say the pharmacist there is a 10 letters p h a r m a c i s t right so there is a 10 letters are there and there is a 10 we can say the roles we can define so i can also insist this is the here i am giving the my observation based on the my understanding of pharmacist but i request during this refresher course can you float a one competitions can you can elaborate the word pharmacist and give the name of anything which is stands for each letters right so 
at least we can come up with some kind of a creativity. And at the end of this two days course, maybe we can come up with some different definition of the pharmacist or different understanding of the word pharmacist. So what I have suggested the pharmacist, it is a P which is stands for the professional. That means a very good kind of the skilled professionals are there. Uh, that is also we can say Gujarati Mabra Kaisha Keke is there. So P that is called the stands for the professional. H that is stands for the healthcare system. Right. We all are part of the healthcare systems. Right. A which can be stands for the accountability and R can be stands for the reliable. So professional of healthcare system are accountable and reliable for medication management. The M which is stands for the medication management. Mostly we are seeing the how we can medicate these things. So we are very good knowledge about the manufacturing, very good knowledge about the doses form design. We have the very good knowledge about the identification of its efficacy and safety and also about the distribution. That is, we can say the marketing. So from lab to market, we know how the medications are managed. So that is the things we can say M stands for the medication management. A, again, it is stands for the advocating, advocating and C, which is stands for the consultation. See, here there is a two terms are there. So yesterday, just I'm curious, okay, what is the difference between these two terms, advocating and consultations? So now, whenever we can heard about the word advocate, there is a, we can come up the legal aspect, right? Legal uh, terminology. So again, I can say the pharma profession is highly regularized professions, right? So we should be aware about the various rules and regulations for the medication management, right? Suppose you can go for the manufacturing, which kind of a license is required? What is the area is required? What is the size of that required? How you can get the approval of your medication? Same thing in retail. What is the size of the store is required? What is the display is required? What is the license is required? What is schedule H? What is schedule M? So this everything is about the legal terminology, right? So that is also we should advocating the others about the legal uh, aspects. Then consultations, right? So consultations, the so mostly I'm saying uh, can be pharmacist be a consultant pharmacist, right? Uh, now, if you can see the physician right as a consultant physicians, advocate right as a consultant legal advisors, consultant architect, consultant, uh, uh, we can say, uh, uh, suppose professionals. So cannot be a consultant pharmacist. So consultant, that means you are giving the right advice and right direction for the use of medications, right? Now you can say why there is a need, uh, doses is divided in two or three days in a uh, time. It is, uh, doctor says okay, two times you have to take, you have to take a three times a day. So we know why it is called three times a day, because to maintain the potency of that drug, because after four hours, it will be eliminated from the body. So again, you have to get the potency of that. Again, you have to ingest it or administration that drug. So that's why it is called a three times a day. So that is half life is maybe four to six hours, right? And to cop up the potency continuously, frequently medication is required. So that kind of consultations we can provide. Now, whatever the return in the prescription kit is a minimum therapy is for one week. Why it is one week? Because to eradicate any bacterial or fungal infection, it is minimum time is required to administer this though, right? So that is the called the consultation and consultation can become based on the knowledge. Otherwise, you cannot give the consultations, right? So this uh, C stands for the consultation. How you can do everything? So using your innovative, I stands for the innovations, S stands for the skill and T stands for the trustworthy approach. So now suppose I can frame a sentence based on these words 
I can say a professionals of healthcare systems which are accountable and reliable for medication management, advocation and consultation using innovative, skilled and trustworthy approach. Right. The last T that is stands for the trust. Right. So whatever we can say, it everything is based on the trust. And trust will be ba developed based on your knowledge. Right. So suppose Anu me Gujarati karu ne, to khubat sara sentence bhi mone. Just I'm uh, saying the what is I have get. Healthcare system na vyavsaik je navin koshalya ane vishwas patra abhigam no upyog karine dawao na sanchalan himayat ane paramarsh mate javabdar ane vishwas niya che. So this is the words I get based on the what is a pharmacist. So just I'm what I have understand that is I have shared with you. Now I must insist that you can make a float one competition between these two days and you can elaborate the word pharmacist based on your understanding and you can identify what is the <laughs> newer creative words we can get it. Right. So with these kind words, I just... Uh, Again, thankful to the organizers, GSPC and the Sharda School of Pharmacy and the, all the organizing committee who has invited me and uh, give the opportunity to share my views. And again, best of luck to all the uh, pharmacists for their upcoming futures and well-being. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, you have given very good advice about the uh, make updation of knowledge with the environment. And the words you have told us that we are developer and creator of the medicine, not the retailer of a drug. So these words are really encouraging, sir. And you have also given a very new uh, side to the pharmacist word, the 10 letters. So this is really new for us. We actually don't know that uh, pharmacist meaning and whatever the, you have explained in the Gujarati. That is actually very energetic. So thank you so much, sir, for giving us a very good knowledge and different knowledge about the pharmacies. Uh, again, sir, uh, thank you so much for the joining us with this uh, refresher course and enlight your uh, time and words with us. So again, thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, uh, every participant, you have to uh, join with the same link for the next session. The session will be start. Within a five minutes, our uh, panelist, uh, uh, Doc, uh, Mr. Pragnesh Patni, sir, is also with us. So we are going to start our session within a, a five minutes. So please uh, keep in this link only. You have to present with the same link for our planetary session one. Okay, so just five minutes and we, we will uh, going to start with our scientific session. Pragnesh, sir, good morning. Hey, good morning, dear Alder. How are you? Bas, bas, majama, kem chodame. Bas, majama, majama, sir. <laughs> 